Hello everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven. And oh my goodness, there's a lot of poop to scoop. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on here in our German ranch, the Apple Blossom Ranch. And there's quite a bit going on in the game too. So let's go ahead and collect up our money, gather up our gemstones. Ooh, somebody lost a diamond in the past year. Not bad. Check on what poor little foal has been stuck inside of that breeding house for what must have been a couple months now. Read through our mail and then we're going to see what's been happening in Horse Haven because it's been quite a while since we've checked in. I'm sorry about that, you guys. You know it's been a really chaotic few months, but there have been a few updates that have me pretty excited, including, are you guys ready for this? Dunna, dunna, da -da -da -da, the Aquarius 2 horse, which is beautiful and reminds me so much of my horse Phantom Fall that we just got in our Star Stable series. Since right now in Star Stable, the Jorvik Magic Horses are available, and actually, one of them looks a lot like this, so I really want to be able to get an Aquarius too. And look at that, is there a jellyfish on its butt? There is a jellyfish on the rump of this horse. I can't even, oh, that's just, that is just so exciting. And beautiful little spider webbing mask. This is pretty cool. I really like the purple and blue mane that we have here. Oh, all right. So we are going to be trying to breed up the Aquarius too, of course. As usual lately, I am, I'm a little bit late to the party. We have 16 days and five hours left to be able to get the Aquarius too. So sorry about that. It's just been so busy. But the good news is, you guys, I have been working very hard to figure out how to breed this little one. And most of you guys probably already know. But today, we are going to reveal the family tree. I have managed to figure out that we need these, um, like, base ancestors in order to breed up the pair that you have to have for the Aquarius 2. I have no idea if we're going to be able to snag the Aquarius 2. You know, it's the luck of the breeding house, the luck of what foals we have born that will determine if we're able to get it or not. But, oh my gosh. All right, so we're going to go ahead and reveal that in just a moment because there's another thing I want to show you guys, a interesting hint at a future update. So not too much has been added in to the game since we last played, except for the Aquarius 2 and this. This! A mystery island! There is a secret island that is going to be opening up soon, and I'm so excited because it has just been, like, so many references to Hawaii lately and I'm Hawaiian and it just makes me so excited. We have had islands being expanded in so many different series and we have Moana that came out recently. Well, not recently, but I just saw it a couple weeks ago. So I'm still like really excited about that. But now we have a secret island kind of like where Hawaii is in the real world too. So I'm pretty excited to see that. And based off of the little glowing gemstone crystals and clouds that I can see, I have a feeling it's probably for the sake of our fantasy horses. So it's probably so that you can take your fantasy horses somewhere and you can give them their very own special pasture, their very own special ranch. So I hope that's what it's about. I'm pretty curious about it. So we're going to see what's going to happen. But that mystery island should be opening up pretty soon too. Hmm. So very excited about that. Staring at this boat very, very, very suspiciously to see what the boat may have to do about it too. And let's go ahead and start taking care of all of the tasks that we need to do to tend to our horses, to get the gemstones, and to check on what the Aquarius 2 family tree is going to be. Let me go through the mail really quickly. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for hiring me as your stable hand. That's over 200,000 coins. That's a lot of coins to get for other people hiring me as a stable hand. And thank you so much. I'll look through the gift thingy later um let's see and then i missed a few things oh social breeding yay some of you guys are breeding with my horses thank you so much thank you so much to all of you unknown people for coming by and visiting my ranch remember if you guys want to become friends in horse haven the way you have to do it is we have to be both on Android devices. So if you're using like an iPad and or iPhone, unfortunately it just doesn't mesh together. And we both have to be friends on Facebook. And I have a Facebook uh, for the channel, but I haven't checked on it in a long time. So I'll try to go through more often, check in on it and friend everybody who sends me a friend invite on it. I never chat on the Facebook and don't ever call me on the Facebook because that's really awkward because uh, I'm never on it anyway. But if we're friends on Facebook, then that's how you, we can become friends 
Friends and a whole bunch of the other app games that I play as well. Oops, and it seems we're over here. Oh, Haley! Oh, I'm so happy. Haley, congratulations! You have reached level 10, which means we can now sell Haley for diamonds, which is why we were raising her, like fully training her up to level 10. Haley, I hope you have a wonderful time with your new family, and we're gonna go ahead and just send her on out. I'm so proud of her, and that does mean we have room. I totally forgot we had an Amber Fairy horse baby. Oh my gosh. Now we have Snow, another Amber Horse baby. Let's check out the little foal. Hi, sweetie. What do you mean I don't have any grass to give you? Oh my gosh. I have really not been taking care of my horses. I've got to get on top of this. But let me finish looking at my mail. Ah, all right. Uh, thank you, gift people. I think, I think I can, I'll have to figure out how to handle those gifts and requests later. And let me clear away the rest of my mail. All right, got a few things from the Peer Breeder Society. New messages. I'm also interested to see what our club thing does, because you can't really do anything with the clubs just yet. And thank you guys so much for your helping hands on the ranch. And did we take care of everything? <gasps> the mail's cleared up. Oh, I always feel better when it's tidier that way. All right, so that is taken care of. We need to grow some grass to take care of this baby. And let's also go up and we'll see what the Peer Breeder Society has available right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they've got, they've changed how this looks too. This is interesting. Oh my gosh. And I really, really want, how long do I have? 12 days left. I kind of want the Fjord um, because the Hanoverian's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but I'm looking at this and I'm just seeing like that piano key, like multicolored mane. And that just looks really cool. So let's see if we can have some of these tasks. I'm going to have to start buying some of these because I've been hoarding my little gemstones, but oh man, I don't know. I don't know how much longer I can just keep. Uh, let's see. Let's get Pura over here. I don't know how much longer. Oh no, this is the only one I'm going to be allowed to do. Quick, register somebody. Register somebody to, to be able to do this little quest. Because once you manage to get all of the coins that you need, or all of the gemstones you need, you can't come and you can't do any more of these little stories. And I like doing these stories because that's actually a way to get a whole bunch of good gemstones for really not having to do anything. Um, but if I have the required number of gemstones to unlock the tier, then you can no longer come in. Oh, there we go. See, and now I won't be able to come back in and do the stories anymore. So I don't know. Do you guys think I should buy it? I think it looks really cool. But I just, uh, that's so many gemstones. Then I would be from 81 to one emeralds. And you really want to spend your coins very carefully. Hmm. Maybe I'll, I'll wait and save them. I'll have to think about it. Do you guys leap at every tier four? Or is it just me who like sits there and doesn't ever want to spend any of my gems? All right, now that that's done, we do want to try breeding our fairy horses. So I think we can only get purebred fairy horses with the ones we currently have. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and we'll search a friend's ranch for a fairy horse. I think that we found out, was it Katie? One of our friends, I always think it's Katie for some reason. <laughs> But I know one of our friends has a fairy horse as well. So we'll go search for fairy horses today. That'll be a good thing to do. Oh yeah, and I have to like search and see what the heck the Aquarius is going to be. Let me check the, um, I went to the Arabian lamp tree instead of the tree house. That's pretty funny. I went to the wrong tree house to try to see what the shop has. Oh, ironically, there's an Arabian lamp available. Uh, definitely going to buy those little cupcakes. That's pretty useful. And that's a really good price for some of those little rutabaga or turnips. I forget which they are. And I'm kind of tempted to buy that tree house. Uh, the Arabian lamp, maybe. I only have, I have two of them so far, so maybe they're available. <gasps> Look at the Aquarius artifact. That is so beautiful. Oh, and it is going to be the year of um, the rooster this year. So I need to take away the monkey icons and hopefully this year they'll have an update so I can get some roosters because this is the, uh, I never ever took down our New Year's, our um, Lunar New Year celebration here. But yeah, it's the year of the rooster this year. It was the year of the monkey last year. And I wonder, there's the gem fountain. Yeah, I don't really have anything else I spend my gems on, so maybe it would be worth it to start getting some tier fours. But I'm not really in love with any of the tier fours I found. And I don't see that Arabian lamp. I think you can get the Arabian lamp from the carousel. So let me check the carousel really quickly. And then I will pay the 100 diamonds to reveal the Aquarius to family tree. And I also have to get my little flowers that we put down here. I always forget how much I love Horsehaven. And then you guys are like, Siri, Siri, where's Horsehaven? 
And I actually had one guy uh, comment, and he was so sweet. He was like, my wife really loves her Horse Haven episodes, and we were wondering when there would be another one. She's always looking forward to them. And I was, like, really impressed. I had no idea that somebody's wife is out there like, I love Horse Haven. But I'm glad to hear it. Right, get that little piece of grass. Ah, okay, I can't get it. All right, we'll leave that be. And what's at the carousel today? Yeah, see, you can get, like, the Arabian lamps and things. I'm going to redeem this because I don't think I have one of those Arabian lamps. And, hmm. Yes, I think I'll go ahead and redeem for eight granola bars. Seems like a good price for four pearls that I never do anything with. So I'll go ahead and do that, too. And then, wow, just for seven sapphires, I can get a whole Dolhurst. If I was really in a pinch for breeding, that would be useful. All right, so the carousel also has some awesome things available from time to time. Oh, what's this? Oh, yay, somebody hired me as a stable hand just now. Thank you. And then let's go ahead and reveal the family tree for the Aquarius 2. So while we are searching for a fairy horse amongst our friends, I can hopefully find what we need for the Aquarius 2. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead. We revealed all. Dun dun dun. Oh boy, that's a horse I don't have, but I do have an American paint. So we need American paint and the Akalteki, uh, which I probably pronounced terribly incorrectly. I apologize, my friends, but that is a beautiful horse. So I know I have an American paint somewhere. I don't think I have him here in the grand stable. Uh, let's see. Mm, going through. Pretty sure my American paint, not Zoe. Zoe is not an American paint. She's a pony. Um, pretty sure it is over in my USA ranch. Oh yeah, and then, oh my gosh. I totally forgot we need to get our daily gemstones from this guy. Oh, I just have to go get some of the fruit feed. I have fruit feed over in the German ranch. I totally forget how busy I am in Horse Haven and how much fun it can be to share with you guys. I'm so glad that you guys were asking for it again. I've just been so busy. All right, there we go. And I love how much they update. I can't believe we've been playing for almost two years now. That's kind of amazing to me. <laughs> I mean, that's really amazing. We've been playing for almost two years. All right, and let's gather up all these. And then can I reach that? There we go, that cherry tree right there. Then we'll get a few more of the grapes. There we go. And since we're about to give away a good chunk of these, I'll get some more of the fruit the fruit feed started and maybe some grape feed. I'll go ahead and get that started in a couple of them too. And maybe some, I haven't had a lot of requests for a long time. Hmm. Oh, I can't do any more of that grape feed. That's interesting. I can't reach the canned feed for some reason. I'll do some sweet feed. There we go. All right, we'll be back over here to try to breed up our fantasy horses in just a moment. But to the USA ranch searching for our American paint, which I'm pretty excited to see. So let me pop over here, see if I can find him. All right, hello everyone. How are you guys all doing over here? Man, we've been having a lot of specialized breeding going on and let me come down since I remember we ran out of grass and that grows so quickly. We'll get that planted. Oh, you know, there's something about playing horse haven. Whoops, a daisy. All right, we're cleaning out, we're accidentally cleaning out a stable. But there's something about playing Horse Haven and just like tidying it all up and cleaning it all up that makes me very happy. I love cleaning. That is definitely a Siri thing that I enjoy. All right, let's get some wheat planted, I think. And let's go ahead and maybe get a little bit more grass planted because I know that one of the foals wanted to eat that. There we go. All right, and we'll tidy this up and then we're going to search inside of our stable and we're gonna see if we have an American paint hiding in there. So there's that. Maybe I have him, I, I do have. Oh, hello there, Rose, with your cute little Rose hat. There you go, sweetie. Awesome. And I do have, and I totally forgot about it, um, another Grand Stable, which I forget about over in the German Ranch because I'm still not used to having a Grand Stable over there. But let's see, my American paint. Bobby, there you are. Good old reliable Bobby who we constantly need to take good care of. Bobby's here. Um, I need to make a little bit of room. Grace, let's see, Oliver, definitely keeping Oliver, because uh, he is a he is our Sagittarius too, the only one we have. I think I'll go ahead and sell Harun, and we'll move Bobby on out. So out you go, Bobby. So we are gonna go searching 
for, hopefully, this beautiful horse, a female version of this gorgeous horse hiding somewhere out there in the world to get the Aquarius too. Maybe we'll be super lucky and like get it first go, but we'll also be looking for a fantasy horse to breed with our foal or with our fantasies um, to get a new type of foal. So let's go ahead and let's start with Kristen. Kristen, why? Oh, you guys. Oh. <gasps> You guys, look at this. There's a little gap. There's a little gap that very much looks like it could be another area that they're going to be adding in for another ranch to visit. Oh my gosh. That's definitely a hint if you ask me and possibly a glitch because you can't see the screen very well. All right. Oh, what do we have here? Is that a unicorn? Is that a unicorn full? Oh my gosh. That's a lava unicorn. Oh my gosh. We will be, oh my goodness gracious, we will be back over here. What am I even looking at? There's a field of unicorns everywhere. Kristen, that's amazing. We're going to be back at Kristen's place in just a second from our German ranch to breed for the fantasy poles. Totally blown away by that. Here is a whole bunch of constellation horses all over the place. Amazing as usual. Hmm, so now we have to wonder, with that many of the awesome horses in place, let's see, I don't think I see the horse. There's a thoroughbred that you need to have. There's a hackney, these are all like tier fours. I don't think I'm seeing the horse that we need in order to get the Aquarius too. I might have to go searching for it on my own time. I wish there was a way that you could sort your friends, uh, cause I have so many friends, which is really fun. But then the downside of that, there it is, a female, come on. No, my breeding house is occupied. What? This isn't right. Oh my gosh. Okay, Kristen. I'll be right Kirsten even. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh. She has both the horses we need. A female version, no less. Okay, my breeding house had a foal in it. I totally didn't know that. A little black forest foal. It is a female though. So I'm going to go ahead and sell her. She's adorable. And we are trying to work on getting a black forest uh, line that goes all the way up. There you go, hero. That goes all the way up to tier three. But I haven't been able to get, um, I haven't really been able to focus on the black forest breeding I'm trying to do because there's always special events and things going on. There you go, hero. Whoops, I was supposed to let you free roam. Sorry, buddy. That's why I popped in there to take care of you. We'll let Hero go out so that he can just free roam and work on leveling up. Hero is the horse we have been keeping as a dull horse. The others we are raising up to level 10. And then we're going to sell them for diamonds as, as time goes. But all right, I'm very excited. So we found both of the ones we needed. So let's go to the UK ranch. A field full of baby unicorns. That's pretty fun. And this is a beautiful horse, by the way. So I am very happy. She's mythic level too. So Bobby, Eva, good luck. I hope you guys have a fantastic time giving me the Aquarius 2, please. All right, so let's see if we have any luck with the Aquarius 2. Pretty much we're going for the yellow right here or we're going for the pink. So we're cheering for yellow and pink, my friends. Yellow or pink? Yellow or pink, please, yellow or pink. Oh no, we're solidly in the blue. All right, it's a newborn. <laughs> She's beautiful, but she's not quite what we were going for, but we'll be back in the future to try again for the Aquarius too. So that'll be a future goal for sure. All right, now we're going to come and visit Kirsten in just a second here. So let's head back over to the German ranch and I will actually bring a few pieces of the grass with me and I'll replace this with some carrots and down go some of these. There we go. Whew. And doing a little bit of farming all of the time can really help out with leveling up, even though it's very slow. It's a very, very slow process to try to level up that way. Oh, yeah. And then we need to give this guy. Here you go, my friend. Yay. And he gave us a gemstone and some diamonds and some money. And then we need to come over back to the German ranch. And we're going to breed up that fairy horse. I'm so excited. I'm really hoping we'll get something cool if we combine our, our beautiful horse with all of those unicorns. A lava unicorn. I can't believe that we saw a lava unicorn. And I hope you guys that it helps to show you guys what the entire family tree looks like in case you hadn't gotten there yet with the Aquarius too. All right. And let's go back. Whoops. Looking at the horse list. That's not what I meant to do. And we're going to go back to Kristen's or Kirsten's place. And final thing we're going to do, try to breed up for a really beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. What do you mean I can't breed? Ah, I just missed the lava unicorn. Oh my gosh. All right. There we go. All right. We'll try Sonic. 
I have I have one of both. I have one of each. This will work. All right, Amber Fairy Corn and Sonic. And let's go ahead and see what kind of beautiful baby they have. Oh, I totally forgot it costs gemstones to do this, uh, to like make the chances bigger. Okay, so there's a huge chance we will simply end up with another male Amber Fairy Horse. But there's also a small chance we'd end up with an Agate Fairy Corn. And there's also another chance that we would end up with a Glacial Fairy Horse. So those sound pretty darn fancy. Don't know about you guys, but that's that's more magical horse than I've ever thought about in my life before. And we're gonna spin this. Come on, come on, keep going. Okay, yay, another Amber Fairy Horse baby. Yay. I can't complain, because I mean, it's really great that we have the Amber Fairy Horse babies being born, right? So I don't want to be fussy, because I mean, it's, a, it's, it's, it's like fairy horses. You don't want to just snub a fairy horse, pretty cool. But we're still, we haven't quite managed to snag a unicorn yet, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually. All right, and until then, we can appreciate how adorable and cute the little fairy horses are anyway. I'm still kind of amazed that there's fairy horses now. All right, there you go, little guy. And I'm very excited to see what the island is going to be. So there we go, you guys. Ah, caught up on Horse Haven, rushing around, trying to do what we can. We'll send everybody out. We'll feed everybody, try to level everybody up to level 10. Knight, you are one of my permanents until I have a tier 4 male to replace you, my, my dear. So we'll level him up to level 12. What are you going to get? I bet you want those cupcake muffins. And I will take care, good care of my horses. Oh, ooh, he just got a increase to his jump ability. Pretty cool. And work on collecting up some of our very special gemstones. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.